the if you ask, no, no. Inside. I mean, if you ask most authority, they will obviously give you a hijab and. Oh, I didn't know that. So yeah. it's first. They they have this facility, yeah. so you will be able to see the mosque itself. Yeah, I was interested because a couple of people I know, friends. So it's interesting how is the inside. Mm. So I went there to uh, meet my friend, but he wasn't there. So I thought that maybe I should go there and see how it's inside. Uh, yeah, how Muslim pray, right? Yeah, because yeah. this is it's a fun interesting, obviously, because it's uh, different than uh, everyone culture, isn't it? Everyone uh, uh, pray different way and think different way. I think quite Muslim people quite very very pure. I think they're very very pure and they're very pure to their religion. Mm -hmm. That's what is my opinion. Yeah. And why do you think so? I read Quran a little bit and uh -huh. I think it's very very easy to read and understand. So it's really really nice mm -hmm. comparing to Catholic Jehovah's because I read a little bit different ones. So yeah. every friends, different cultures, different religions, they everyone oh, come to my church, come to my church. Yeah. But I uh, from country Catholic, so yeah. I've been baptized obviously. But I didn't want it uh, not change, it's not the change. I just didn't want to confirm it different uh, religion at the moment because you have to study that, isn't it? you have yeah. to read about it, you have to make sure you you want to go there. So yeah, yeah, and that's why it's like important. I'm just going to run there because someone telling me to do it. Because yeah, yeah. So people, they force me to do it, isn't yeah. it? So yeah, and, and that's, that's very important that we should yeah. look at the claim of the religion itself. Yeah. So first of all, you know, the concept of God, it makes sense to you. The secondly, I would say, look, Allah created us for a purpose. Yeah, he would not create us you know, without a purpose. It must have a purpose. And how do we know that purpose? Then we have to look at the claim of the Quran itself. And Quran mentioned that all of the prophets, right? Their mission is to tell the humanity, you should worship, yeah, but you know, believe and worship the same God. We don't know that the people who don't practice Quran, we don't know that. Mm. I sometimes look like on Instagram and other media, uh, people talk about the Quran. It's really nice, really, but very interesting as well. So Now, the, now you know. Yeah, some things, yes, not everything, obviously, because I didn't grow up with this culture, so it's very yeah. difficult. So there is three questions here, right? Yeah. Where did I come from? Why am I here? Mm. Where am I going? So there is three questions, right? Three existential questions has been asked. Where did I come from? Where am I here? What I'm doing? Where I'm going? Where I will end? And all this existential question, do you have this, this, do you have the answers for it? These are, yeah, the, 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 the knower, I know okay, the knower yeah. of everything is God himself, right? Well, Correct. we always say the God knows, but right. we don't. <laughs> no, exactly, and, 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 and if you, uh, if you uh, go back to many places in the Quran, God constantly telling is that he knows everything. In fact, he was saying, Rabbukum a'lamu bikum, he knows everyone best. Yeah. So, he will know everything. So. Whatever our whisper, how we think, how we, what, what decision we are making, he is completely aware of this. And through his knowledge of, of what I don't know, and you, we, all of the humanity don't know, he reveals the information that, that would be needed for us. Otherwise, we will be lost and guided, right? So the Quran came as a guide. I know that. Right. That's why I yeah. like it sometimes, yeah. because you can tell yeah. there is some uh, way how they uh, you read that okay? yeah you don't understand more than the other yeah. Bible, even people Bible you know? yeah it's very very difficult to people understand this mm. especially in my country they, they read in the Bible and lots of people where they don't mm. understand the Bible yeah, yeah, yeah. so they practice years yeah. to understand but in Quran is very easy yeah Quran is easy very, very even easy. Allah mentioned yeah translation she, she no, no. do you want me to get you one mm. Yeah. So in Quran, Allah said, "Walakad yassar al Quran li zikri fahal bi mudakir." Allah made the Quran easy for remembrance. Yeah. So if you look at uh, children from five, six, seven, eight years, I mean different age group, they can memorize Quran easily. Even yeah, every Muslim, if you ask their family members, you will find one or two of them yeah, are memorizers of the Quran. Your, yes, your, please. If you grow up with your religion, yeah. it's much easier yeah. than for people who don't know nothing about yeah. this in the end of the practice. But then again, look, in, 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 in the worldly desire, we, we attain so many degrees, we spend so many things for make our life better. But when we're talking about our eternal life, should we not invest some of the time? And Quran is not like a huge book, it's only for 500 pages, right? Yeah, of course. Three. Plenty enough time to read. Yeah, and, and 
And to be honest, the message is very simple. What is the message? Message is you should believe and worship the God the way God told us to do so. So as a Muslim, Allah tells us fa do five daily prayers, do fast in Ramadan, right? Give charity, give zakat, give your 2.5 percent of your excessive wealth to the poor. Go to Hajj pilgrimage, yes, and be kind and generous in general, right? And help one another in good things, but do not help one another in bad things. The religion tells us to be kind to your parents. The religion tells us to look after your neighbors. The religion tells us to, uh, to, to forbid any evil. If you cannot stop it by hand, stop, you know, at least speak out. And if you cannot speak out, do it from your heart. That, that religion tells us we are... Good things, generally. Exactly. And the same way, we know there is a God. And we know these messengers are not lying. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he was not a liar. Yeah, he was the best man lived on the planet. So, so he, he is an evidence against us, meaning he has given us the information that mankind needed to be guided. And we have that information. Now we have the Quran, which clearly speaks to your mind. And I'm, 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 I'm glad that you mentioned that, you know, honestly, because Quran actually speaks to you if you actually yeah, look into it. It's much easier to understand than other religion I really saw and it's very, very easy. Yeah, but Quran also talks about... It also takes time to practice. I just read it uh, recently. Yeah, yeah. But Quran... It's really nice and very, very knowledging. Yeah. Very, very knowledging as well. I found that it's quite knowledging. Yeah, yeah. Even if I'm older, it's knowledging for everyone. So yeah. uh, you get from that kind of thing. Quran, some of the messages are very important and few messages. I mean, I cannot finish it in, in 10 minutes, which yeah, of course yeah. is a big book. But one of the constant theme, Allah telling us, do not lost our hope in receiving mercy of Allah. Even if you are in old age, no. Allah is telling us to be, you know, be confident and wait for the guidance. And, you know, you should strive for the guidance. And Allah will guide you if you strive for it. Meaning, if you make the chance, or if you make the intention, Allah will aid you. And Allah also tells us, constantly telling us, that death is an a, a reality we cannot run away from the death and then what will happen then Allah will ask you on the day of judgment that what did you do with the life that I gifted you Allah will ask a question about this life these beautiful things you are enjoying free Allah will ask why didn't you surrender yourself to me and why did not you worship me why don't you be ungrateful so at that time you know some of the disbeliever will tell Allah oh Allah send me back I'm going to do that and come back to you again. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> yeah? And Allah said, I have given you multiple chances already in this world. And you didn't even take heed. You didn't listen to the messenger. You belied the messenger. Uh, religionless, uh, same thing, uh, people think that way as well. No, but then again, we need to find out, is Islam truth or is... Now, if I have four religions and each claims same thing, they, they cannot be correct. I mean, each claim yeah. different thing. They yeah, cannot be course, correct. Like, yeah. for example, Christianity say a man is a God, a manifestation of God. Man is son of a God, right? And Islam, we say Allah, does, Allah doesn't beget son. Neither he has father. Yeah, yeah, of course, because uh, even in Catholic, they believe Mary and, and Jesus of Islam. Exactly. So, so we say it's a blasphemy because God is unlike the creation. God doesn't need to rest. God doesn't need to eat, drink or sleep. But when we see a human being, Jesus Christ, he eats, he sleeps, he drinks, and he is someone who need of help from God. And God does not need help from anybody. So Islam makes it very simplistic to the mind of the universe, everyone, that you should worship the creator, not the creation. And, and, and then we have the heaven and hell, we have two destinations. I don't know how Quran believes in this as well. Yeah, so we, 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 we believe that no one will take your sin. You will be alone just for your own action. Your belief and action, you will be just. Say, for example, when you receive the information and then you understood it, but if you reject it, that means the suffering, eternal suffering. But if we accept it and followed it and obeyed by the Allah's commandment, you will go to the paradise. So Islam is not beating around the bush. It makes clear distinction between good and bad, day and night. So Quran 
is constantly talking about the heaven and hellfire in the Quran. Why? Constantly reminding us so that no one should take the path that will lead to the hellfire. But you should indeed take the path that will lead you to eternal joy and blessing. So Quran, Allah telling reminder after reminder after reminder and he sent messenger after messenger after messenger. Why? To establish the message so that the humanity have no say on the day of judgment or no excuse on the day of judgment that oh i didn't hear about it allah will tell oh you have learned so many things you have used your intellect but why what happened to when my book came to you my messenger come to you why you rejected him was he a liar you said no was he a cheater you said no then why you reject him so we have to see why prophet muhammad what is his it message is, it? it is yeah and and Allah mentioned I have not sent Muhammad unless a mercy for mankind and he was a I mean he was a living example he transformed the whole society in 23 years of time with the help of Allah so what religion is this make complete uh, uh, jahil people meaning or ignorant people they are involved in so many crimes these people become the best of best what is, is the faith is 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 the evidence for islam is true so it's not about emotionally people are following i never thought about it. it's not true the islam i think uh, people don't know much about the islam exactly. my country they don't know at all so yeah yeah we are living uh, now in uk so in uk is probably more than uh, in Jerusalem. yeah so that's why that's why we uh, yeah and a lot of people coming to islam because of intellectual reason not because of oh he likes muslim no he realized, okay, the concept of God in Islam makes more sense. The purpose of life in Islam makes more sense. The heaven and hell and the reality of the life and the absolute day of justice, which is day of judgment, everything makes sense in Islam. So therefore, they have that rational conviction that led to them, of course, emotional conviction too in the later stage. So what I would say to a sister like yourself in the, in the humanity, and since you have a family member who is a Muslim, I would say, look, death will visit us very soon. Maybe 100 years maximum. 100 years maximum, right? 100 years maximum. And then what? We have to. Now, did we prepare ourselves for the journey that are coming? This is a big question. And this decision we should must make while we have this understanding why I'm, I'm concerned about our life and everything, we should concern at the same time with our, our journey. Yeah, of course. I mean, when we go to the grave, no one is going with us in the grave, right? And then the questions start there. Are we prepared for it? Because Allah, you know that disbeliever ask question. You know what they ask they? I say, oh, I will die. I will be disintegrated. I will disjoin. Yeah. And you know what Allah said? Allah said, كَيْفَ تَكْفُرُونَ بِاللَّهِ The how can you disbelieve in Allah? That He created you from nothing. Once you become nothing, should He not create you again? Yeah, that's right. Allah telling that, you know, He will surely find, even if you try to, you know, uh, disjoint and uh, if you become disappeared. No, that's not a big deal. So Allah is telling those answers. So when you open the Quran, you will see these sort of argument are full in the Quran. Yeah, I need to go. Be yeah, let me give you the copy of the Quran. Yeah, thank you. And uh, I can take that. Yeah. I would say maybe do visit a mosque. Oh, I will. With my um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do visit a mosque, and I would say that since you your concept of belief. You have half concept of belief, which you believe in Allah. I believe that God is only one anyway. So exactly, exactly. So change that anyway. Yeah. It's just uh, which way to go. You have exactly. to find your way. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you, you already you already, way, yeah. you already come half a step closer. So now you need to look into the claim of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And if you find the Quran is convincing for you, and I would say you read it for yourself. And if you, this is, English, this is an English translation, but the major concept I've just explained to you in a very, yeah. very basic term, that this life is a test. Allah said, 
you will have your trial will come as a test uh, so and the test the judgment will take place in the day of judgment where absolute justice will take place no human being will have absolute justice in this world because a lot of criminals are getting away but does it mean i mean if they're gone away and there is no day of judgment that it, that means there is no absolute justice but in islamic day of judgment it's not like someone is dying for your sin no islam la taziru waziratan wizra ukhra no one will bear the sin of someone else so we are not like christianity that oh jesus died for us in fact he was he didn't die for that sin this is something made up jesus christ was the mightiest so messenger of god so we believe you believe that jesus is a is a mess no he he was raised by allah bal rafa'ahu allah ilayhi allah taking him alive so, you do have the Quran, uh, so we have a chapter called jesus. yes we have you see i didn't read this because like i said i didn't know really read uh, all the quran so i don't know yeah Allah mentioned there are two prophets are similar. They have similitude. In chapter 3 verse 59, Allah said, Inna masal Isa inda Allahi ka masal Adam. Meaning, the similitude of Jesus is like that of an Adam. Adam, the first man, was created without parents. And Jesus was created... Yeah, so Adam. Adam. Yes, Adam. Adam, Adam was created without parents. Allah created him. And Jesus was created miraculously without father and he uh, uh, jesus was given so many miracles healing the leper giving life to the dead person so we believe all those things but when he was doing that he is doing bismillah through the permission of allah so he never claimed himself to be god or son of a god but he was a prophet of god so the christian mistook him and we don't believe that jesus is uh I go to so we uh, I think uh, Catholicism more the religious son. Yeah. So, so he obviously yeah. that power to so, so so when when we look at the son it can be metaphoric son it can be begotten son so if you say metaphoric son then everyone is children of god that's not distinction if you say begotten son then god doesn't have a wife he can you yeah, see of course. yeah i know yeah and quran have this argument how can god have a son when he has no wife Quran mentioned this and Allah saying do not attribute your son to me because creator is unlike the creation so Allah saying how can I have a son when I'm unlike the creation so Jesus is like the creation he is like human being and God is unlike so we have four line definition of the Allah who is Allah in Islam makes a clear understanding who the God is so Allah saying Qul huwa Allahu ahad. say Allah is one Allah is Samad. he is eternal he is self-sufficient Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He doesn't have a father, neither he has a son. Wa lam yakullahu kufuan ahad. There is nothing comparable to God. Meaning... So because they say the Mary is a... Uh, yeah, is, is a mother of God. Of yeah, so, so it's, it's a blasphemy. Allah is unlike the creation. There is nothing like God, nothing comparable to God. So therefore, attributing a human being, it's a blasphemy against God. That's why we say the religion got fault, faltered, because this is not the pristine monotheism abraham priest that's why when we people of the book we differ about this and the quran in chapter 3 verse 65 to 67 allah is telling that <laughs> did abraham what was the religion of abraham was he a christian was he a jew or was he a muslim yeah, because we do talk about abraham. yeah so abraham was neither a jew because Judaism st started long after him and of course Christianity came after Judaism so if Abraham was a Muslim then the Judaism and Christianity is not a religion from God and by definition linguistic Islam means someone who submit to God so Adam was submitted to God Abraham was submitted to God Noah was submitted to God so therefore any religion comes or any religion evolved after Islam is a new religion is invented by human being so my question to you sister would be would you want to accept the religion of god or would you want to accept the religion of human being god so therefore i invite you to islam i i make the official invitation you can accept the invitation to become a muslim or you can take some time do some research and look after yourself do you have any more question no
No, because there will be lots of questions and we have but, no time for that. <laughs> but uh, th does that make sense, the message yeah, of Islam? Yeah, yeah. I got friends there, so yeah. I never really much spoke about it, but I got close friends when he speak about it quite a lot. Uh, and obviously uh, he believes, so he's, for me, take time, yeah? So I need to yeah. know about it. It's not yeah, like take time, but you know. know that. Yeah. Lots of people don't know about the knowledge of the Quran, so... Yeah. Um, because we don't come from that country. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to... You can do one thing in the YouTube. YouTube. You can listen to it. I know, because I had the app. Yeah, so... No, app yeah, the... you can do it like YouTube. Say, you can type, um, let's say, Quran recitation. Let's say, Quran recitation, yeah? Uh, you'll find a lot of different type of Quran recitation. I mean, a lot of different reciter and their recitation and you will do it do the experiment and how you feel it because allah said those who believe in this book it is a, a cure and a shifa meaning it's a healing healing for the believers it, it it will fulfill the void that human beings are going through because everyone trying to fill that void a spiritual void and the reason why it's not fulfilling because you're not using the right medicine. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, 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 so Allah said the Quran is a shifa and a cure. But if you believe and, in it. And a healer. And, and a healer, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and, and uh, we have the, uh, the chapter Surah Fatiha also, another name, the beginning chapter also shifa means it can cure your illness, you know. So, sister, I mean, Islam is rising. And thousands of people coming to Islam and the fastest growing religion on the planet and if you ask them the reason it's more most of them would say intellectual convincing reason behind because they find Quran is truth Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the true prophet maybe that's what people need in their life as well. so exactly exactly I mean we need we need truth and truth and we need to look into the truth and then follow the truth I mean a lot of people will have the truth, but they will not follow it. Yeah. Then you will, you know, the consequence will be heavier because this truth comes with reward and punishment. If you follow it and if you reject it, right? So we cannot take the message lightly. It's a real genuine message of purpose of life. Um, yeah. Give it, a, give it a go and you look, look after yourself. No problem. Thank you for your time. I hope, thank you know, I hope, yeah. Thank you, you too. Bye. -bye. Please make dua for her. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum.